Welcome everybody to the Veterans Online Summit. It is here, we are here, we are here to help you and we're excited. I am here live with the founder of the summit itself, the idea man, the guy behind the whole thing, Mr. Larry Peacock. How are you, Larry? Hey, how are you doing, Brett? I can't even believe it, man. 90 days. For me, it's been a little bit longer than 90 days, but uh, yep. I was just say it was 90 days with you, sir, and uh, here we are. I can't even believe it's actually arrived. Absolutely. No, neither can I. It's been, a, it's been an awesome ride. We have assembled a uh, just unbelievable team of speakers Good. and presenters for this summit. You know, for those of you watching right now, the amount of content and value that's coming up over the next three days is pretty mind blowing. So we're really excited about it for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. And I'll, I'll get into a little bit about how we were able to get such a crazy lineup of speakers, but yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to be here. Yeah, yeah. So let's get into that story. Start by telling us, we want to hear your origin story. How did this all start for you? How did you get involved with ClickFunnels? How did you get any of these ideas for any of this stuff? Like, tell us, tell us what happened. Absolutely. So uh, again, my name is Larry Peacock, originally from Portland, Oregon. And, uh, you know, I've grown up kind of with this entrepreneurial mindset. I think anybody that's an entrepreneur, you pretty much You've, you've had it your whole life, right? It's just kind of in your blood. I, I believe it. I like, definitely believe in that. And so uh, when I was young, I've ha had multiple online businesses. I've, or not online, but uh, multiple businesses that I've done. Um, I was a professional dance instructor, owned my own ballroom. Mm -hmm. um, I trained athletes, played basketball overseas, you know, played basketball all over the world, which was totally, totally awesome. I was a, mu a musician. And uh, anyway, so I did all these crazy fun things. And the main point of it all was I got paid to do what I love. And mm. ever since that time, um, I've always, from then on, when I very first started, uh, I've always wanted to get paid to do what I love, right? And so uh, when I was doing the uh, dance stuff, I did that for a long time, you know, 10 to 15 years. Um, and when I did that, this was before Facebook right? Not right. to date myself, but this is before Facebook, but I was yeah. super successful in the dance business. I was super successful. I was one from a social dance aspect, you know, social dancing, me and my partner, um, teaching people how to actually social dance. Um, I was one of the largest uh, social dance organizations in the Pacific Northwest. And, and again, this was before social media and Facebook, but right. um, so I've always had this huge entrepreneurial spirit. And anyway, then I went into the military, did the whole military thing. Um, and I'm, I'm still in the military, you know, almost 10 years later. Um, but I've always, again, had this entrepreneurial spirit. And uh, then in comes Facebook, uh, Twitter, and, and all this craziness. And so then, anyway, when I was uh, looking at Facebook uh, one day, I saw this ad, uh, this one particular ad that something about this weird niche that brings in $17,000 a month. Mm. Right. <laughs> and I, and somehow I, I clicked on it and I was like, man, this guy makes $17,000 a month. Who is this guy? And I clicked on it, but then I, you know, I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Sounds kind of interesting. Something called click funnels. I'm not sure what that is. Well, anyway, um, then it like followed me and I'm like, what is this? You know, eventually we know it as retargeting, but uh, right. that, that ad followed me. And then that's, so that's how I like, heard about click funnels it, it's just been awesome you know and so that's kind of how i actually got started you know my first uh experience with click funnels okay cool cool so let's throw in a quick lesson right here so if i'm hearing you right you <laughs> saw the ad you clicked it you looked at the page you thought oh maybe that's interesting but i'm not really sure what it is so you left and you went about your business and then like you said the ad was following you you yep. saw it a few more times so i'm thinking the end of that story is eventually you clicked it again, yeah. went to the page, and then actually signed up, right? Oh, absolutely. And so real quick here, yeah. the lesson to everybody watching, some people have heard this and some people have not, that the average consumer, before they make a decision to make a purchase, needs to be touched by the marketing and advertising five to seven times. Oh, wow. That's right. That's a, that's a typical standard. You'll, you'll hear a lot of people say that within sales. They need to be touched five to seven times. You were one of those people. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So it, 
this is proof that it's true and it works. You can't just show people one ad. You got to show them multiple ads, right? So it hit you again and again and again on the first time, the second time you weren't ready to buy, but eventually after enough hits, you bought. Absolutely. You know, and so this was three years ago, Brett, right? Mm -hmm. This was over three years ago now. And uh, that's how long I've been with ClickFunnels. And so, you know, I started it with, in with ClickFunnels and, and I got the software. I am not a computer guy, right? Yeah. I'm not a computer guy. I'm very not, you know, I have that whole sense of tech overwhelm when, and mm -hmm. then when something falters, I like, it's not that I give up. I just get frustrated because I'm like, ah, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. And so yeah. that's something that's always kind of been a little bit a part of the, of uh, keeping me from progressing. Right. Um, yeah. And so, you know, again, that was three years ago. Um, so it was kind of frustrating at the beginning, but um, you know, in those three years, um, I did a lot of learning. Uh, it wasn't wasted. That's for sure. It wasn't wasted, yeah. but uh, you know, I, I learned a lot and you know, the only uh, regret that I would have is, and this is going to be a lesson learned for the veterans watching is uh, you have to take action, right? Yeah. For something to happen, you have to take action. So it was just frustrating in that three years where um, I wasn't taking, I wasn't executing and all I was doing was yeah. learning, learning. And then this other thing that you're going to hear about is I was buying a bunch of shiny objects, you know, ask my wife, mm. but uh, I was buying a bunch of shiny objects and just learning, 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 but not executing. So, you know, that was mm. uh, the three year journey that was kind of, you know, frustrating. But then, you know, everything changed eventually, uh, as, and we'll get into that for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, sounds good. So it sounds like you, uh, you kind of got involved with the community and you, you were kind of watching and learning and, and, yeah. and kind of sitting back and seeing what this is all about and seeing what people are doing. Probably then the ideas start flowing in your mind and whatnot and yeah. you start to see people like, oh, if they can do it, then maybe I can do it too and, and oh, things yeah. like that. And then, yeah, man, if you hang around in this, in this marketing community long enough, eventually you get to the point where you're like, I got to do something here. Absolutely. Like, I got to do this. Like, yeah. Before that though. Creating products and selling products and yeah. program. Like I got to do it. Yeah. Before the, the, the big event, you know, the big change happened. What kept me in for three years? You know, the shiny objects yeah. and that it was the community, bro. It was click yeah. funnels and the culture and the me people too. that I've connected with online. They were just, I mean, that's when you guys, you know, buckle up, Roger, buckle up. When you get into ClickFunnels, you absolutely, you know, it's going to just rock your world. But, you know, again, just buckle up. That's, that's all I got to tell you because it was the culture that kept me in there for three years. It's true. It's true. It, the, the community, the culture that we have here is, man, it, it's, it's like why I'm here. You know, like, yeah, the software tool is very important. Yes, we need it. But that, that culture, that community we have, there are so many just high level people, entrepreneurs in this space, in this community that are just genuinely good people who are out there to help others. And it's like, it's as simple as that. And, and, and it's pretty, it's, it's pretty, it's changed my life. And I know yep. it's, I know it's changed yours too. Oh, absolutely. And you guys are about to meet them. <laughs> you're about yeah. To yeah. Meet. And everybody watching, you're about to meet all the people we're talking about. Oh my you know, God. These people who have, who like have the cream of the crop. <laughs> yeah. Cream of the crop. Yeah. It's funny because like a lot of the vets watching this summit right now may have, and probably have never heard of any one of the speakers on oh. our summit, unless you're already involved in this space, maybe, but most likely uh, the people watching have like never heard of any of these people who we have on the summit. Meanwhile, me and Larry are like, Oh my goodness. I can't believe we got this person. I can't believe we got that person. Like these are the people, these are our idols. These are the people that we, we work with and we want to be working with them and we want to be like them. We want to achieve the levels of success that they have achieved and we're following in their footprint. So these, these are our mentors. These are our idols. These are the people who we're looking up to. So Larry and I are like giddy over here. Like we can't even believe the, the caliber of people we got on here. So, um, so just to the viewers, just keep that in mind that, that there's a certain place where you might want to be watching an interview with somebody who just seems like a regular guy. Cause we all are, we're just regular people, but there's a place within this community where the person in this interview is like a celebrity. And, oh, um, and you, you have might to have know security, that. you know, like they have to have security sometimes where they go speak, man. They have to like have security yeah. on them because they just make so much dang money, man. <laughs> totally. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So then, so that leads me to the question, Larry of, 
Speaking of the summit and all the presenters we have on the summit, how did the idea specifically for the Veterans Online Summit come around? And not even just that, how, I wanna know how your thought process evolved into uh, you wanted to make your whole MO about helping and serving vets because you know, you've, you've been in the military for a while, not just a year or two, it's been several years, like yeah. nine or 10, right? And so like you, previously you were doing things like the dance school and being yeah. a musician and playing basketball and those really had nothing to do with supporting vets, right? No. Even though you were an active duty military, it yeah. wasn't like it was a foreign concept to you. So when did it start evolving into, you know, I wanna work with vets and help vets and then, and then at some point, it was like, hey, let's do an online summit. How did that happen? Absolutely. So, you know, my military history, I, people will be, everybody likes to tell their story and whatnot. Yeah. Maybe just know what I've done, right? So yeah, let us know. I was an en enlisted medic, uh, soldier medic, warrior spirit, Fort, Fort Sam Houston, San Antonio, right? Uh, 2009. And so I was an enlisted medic and I went directly from being an enlisted medic, private first class, um, I, I went directly into ROTC training. And so for the next seven years, I was trying to become a military officer and, uh, and I did ROTC long story short, did the whole thing. It didn't work out, lost my security clearance. Or I didn't get a security clearance and that's what kind of kept me short. Then I went to, uh, OCS, uh, officer candidate school. Well, I had to, in between that time, I had to take two years to correct my finances, got them corrected. Then when I got my uh, security clearance, I went into uh, OCS, Officer Candidate School, to become, become a military officer. So that's kind of my story on the uh, military background. I finally commissioned as an officer a couple years ago, um, and as I'm an Army Engineer Officer, and I currently run, a, uh, I command, anyway, it's a UAS unit, drones, right? I love it. I'm, I'm super okay. excited to, to do that. I'm really lucky. So that's kind of my military story, real brief. Um, but as far as helping veterans, um, I, you know, un unless you're a veteran, obviously all my veterans that are watching, you all know, right? We have a brotherhood, a bond that is just like nothing else on this planet. And obviously we would clearly do anything for each other. We would freaking die for each other, Roger. So um, many you know, I, I have such a strong heart for veterans and uh, anytime I go anywhere I work, I'm in the, I'm in the guard, right? So I work part time. I'm a manager at Amazon and I've worked in the healthcare field for a really long time. But anytime I got a new job, the number one thing, the first thing I'd always do when I got my new job is I was, I'd always ask, Hey, is there a military organization in here of vets? Mm. And, I, and I did this all the time and, and every job I had, they didn't have one. And so I would be the one, I'd be the guy that would start it. Right. Okay. And so I'd always start, um, I'd always start these, I, was, I started a whole position, new position called the Military Liaison for Project Management Organization. Um, I started that and, and I did that, right? So I've always had this heart for veterans and wanting to help them and, and serve them. Um, and then when I got to, to maintain that community and the brotherhood, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And so then when I went to Amazon, um, they already have the huge on military. Amazon's the best of all the organizations I've worked for. They're, they're the most military friendly, right? So That's this, really cool. Uh, I did not know that until I yeah. met you and you told me that. Amazon Warriors even says it right there. Um, huge organization and they they're, they're have a big love for veterans. And so that's, that's kind of really how cool. I started and, and got into that. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So how long have you been working for Amazon now? Uh, I've been with Amazon for just over two years now, actually. Okay, yeah, cool. Just over two in, years. And so as an example of like, uh, you know, kind of a veterans organization within a, a corporation, what goes on there with, with vets inside Amazon? What, is there a community happening? Like what, what's going on there? Yeah. So at each facility, um, so I'm, I'm a part of the Amazon warriors and we, we, you know, we have like our own kind of like social community that we connect with. And then again, uh, I've worked at different facility uh, facilities. And mm -hmm. so, but now I got transferred to Fort Myers, Florida, and I'm opening up a new facility, which is really neat experience where you're opening up a new uh, building for Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to be launching the Amazon Warriors for Fort Myers, Florida, which is, you know, that's a really neat oh, okay. opportunity. And my shift, assist, my shift assistant who works for me is a retired 28-year Master Sergeant, right? And wow. so it's just awesome that we have these veterans. And again, from a leadership standpoint in, in Amazon, they look for 
for uh, military veterans. So if you want to work for Amazon, uh, I can look it up. <laughs> okay. So you're yeah. saying Amazon actually like favors vets in like promoting them and, and whatnot? Oh, absolutely. Huge. Okay. Yeah. Cause that, that's not, that's not really common. I don't think, is it? No, no. You know, and when I go on my trainings, I was gone for six months for army engineer school and Amazon still paid me my salary. Really? No, they paid the difference. They paid the difference because I made more okay. money at Amazon than I did at Army Engineer School. So they're like, hey, we're going to pay the difference and make sure that you're still getting your pay. I mean, wow. when does that happen, bro? I was gone for six months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's that's incredible. I honestly, I, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know all that about Amazon. You know, I, I love Amazon. I've even been an Amazon seller, you know, so I've yeah. been like involved with the platform, but I, I did not know any, uh, any of that about, about how they treat military vets. Yeah. So that, that's really awesome. And so I can see, you know, why coming into Amazon, you'd be really excited to find that that exists within their, within their culture. So then, so you started working with them two years ago. You've been doing that. And, and, and during that time, you're also involved with the ClickFunnels community Absolutely. and watching and learning and watching and learning. So then, you know, like I mentioned before, for anybody, if you just get involved and you start literally watching and learning, you'd be amazed at the amount of like information that people share about their business. Hey, we did this and this was the result and blah, blah, blah. And it triggers the ideas in your mind. Just like reading books. That's one of my favorite reasons to read books is it triggers ideas. Yeah. And the idea factory starts flowing in my mind and just ideas. So I'm, I'm guessing something kind of like that happened to you where you're going along over the two years uh, working on Amazon leading up to present day. And at some point, some ideas started flowing. And at some point, that idea turned into the Veterans Online Summit. So how did that happen? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, again, you know, the whole concept of, you know, wanting to serve vets is just in my blood. And um, here's why, you know, you, you veterans will have an idea of what, you know, you'll come up with a product, you might get into a chat bots or into online courses, you might get into publishing. And all those things are just, um, nobody really cares about what the vehicle is, right? What people do care about is the end result of what that vehicle delivers, the end result, right, that's going to make them, you know, great at something. Um, but also, they care about a cause. And so when I thought about, well, what am I going to do? There's different, lots of, you know, I could have done basketball, music, uh, dance. Um, I wanted to do something that people would have a passion for and, have, and be passionate about. And I was yeah. like, man, you know, I'm in the military and I love veterans. And if I could help veterans you know um again they have these pain points veterans have these pain points where they get out of the service and they rose in rank they've been in the military for 20 years right and they've rose in rank and now boom they're back at the bottom of the barrel right it's in the corporate world and they have to start all over and i'm like well what if you could own your own business and keep that sense of authority right and so that's yeah. a, a huge reason why i wanted to do that for veterans was was doing that and then secondly again my lifelong motto get paid to do what you love. If you're yeah. going to do it, you might as well get paid for it. Right. And Got so, it. you know, I'm all about that. Anytime I meet somebody, even if they're not a veteran, I, one of the questions I always ask them, so what do you want to do in life? Or what do you do in life? Or what things do you like to do? And when they tell me, I always think about, man, I wonder how, if they could get paid to do that. <laughs> it's just, right. you know, something that I want to do. So there was this key moment though. And uh, that I want to get into, there was this key moment that happened in uh, December um, where it was kind of just this breaking point. Um, my wife had uh, six surgeries, six back surgeries in 2018. Yeah. And, um, you know, I've been working for Amazon. They pay really well. Um, Army engineer officer, that pays decent as well. But, you know, six back surgeries in one year is, is rough, right? And so it was rough on us financially. That's and again, I was with ClickFunnels for three years, and I didn't want to give up on ClickFunnels, but I wasn't, I wasn't executing anything. Right. Yeah. Again, I was just learning and buying shiny objects. And I wasn't actually making something happen. Well, you know, in December, um, I, I just came to my end. I was like, this is it. I got to go all in. I have to go all in. And for you veterans, that's going to be a, a, a huge learning point for you because we've done a lot of these interviews for these uh, amazing people at, at ClickFunnels that are within the ClickFunnels world. And all of them, all of them had a moment where a breaking point where they went all in something rough happened or whatnot. And they're just like, I'm not giving up. I'm going all in. And that's happened for me in December, Brett. And so when that happened, 
I knew that Funnel Hacking Live was coming up in February. So I knew that in two and a half months, that um, this, it's the event that ClickFunnels puts on every year. It's an annual event. Thousands of funnel hackers, that's what we call us. Thousands of funnel hackers come to one city and we learn more about ClickFunnels at a deep level and in that whole culture. And so, yeah. but I had no money, right? Uh, you know, I, was, I was strapped because of the, all the medical bills. I'm like, how am I gonna get to ClickFunnels or to Funnel Hacking Live? I knew it would change my life if, if I got there and I knew it would change my family's life. And so I was like, and this is an event that, that took place in Nashville, Tennessee, just so everyone knows. Yep, so you had yep. to travel to Nashville and get a hotel and buy a ticket and all yeah, that. Yeah, expensive. So I was like, yep. oh man, how am I going to get there? I was like, well, I got stock in Amazon, right? And my stock in, <laughs> I got stock in Amazon. And so I sold my stock in Amazon, the largest company in the world, right? So it was a huge risk and, and the stock's doing pretty well right now, mind you. And I'm I sold sure. it because I was like, that's going to get me to Funnel Hacking Live. So I bootstrapped, got to Funnel Hacking Live and uh, game over from there. And so I knew I need to have something though. When I got, when I was going to uh, Funnel Hacking Live, I knew I need to have a product. Cause again, I was wasting three years of my life. And so I was like, I need to execute something. And so then that's when I came up with the Veterans Online Summit. So when I got there, I started, you know, I connected with you, sir. And when we got to the summit, we, we were already working on it and we're like, okay, who can we connect here? And so that, that's how it all happened. Yeah, awesome, awesome um that, yeah that, what a great story um and um and you know it's it, it's such a great you know supporting vets is just such a it's such a great uh you know category or whatever you want to call it because so many people are passionate about it yeah you know and and i and, and we've seen that and just for everybody watching i'm not a vet myself um i i i care about vets and i support vets and 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 i've learned a lot about about what vets go through from larry here and, um, yeah. you know, it, it's, uh, the, the whole experience of this, the, the amount of people that we've seen like rally around this event, people Ooh. getting excited about it, who had nothing to do with it. They weren't even a speaker on it or anything. Oh. People in Nashville, people wanted photos with us just, just because they wanted to support, you know, they weren't yeah. like a part of the event or anything, you know? And so it's really, um, it's really cool that, you know, so many people, whether they, are a vet or not, or even know any vets or not. Yeah. Um, so many people are, are, are committed and passionate about, as soon as you say, Hey, we're doing something to help vets. People are like, okay, I'm in. Absolutely. Yeah. Let me talk you know? about that. So we get to the sun, uh, we get to the uh, funnel hacking live event and I brought this flag with me. And the reason I brought the flag with me, freaking America, by the way, the reason why I brought the flag with me was that, um, I was going to try to do some more recordings there for at the summit. I was going to try to, you know, do recordings with the speakers and whatnot. Some so interviews, I already had yeah. the flag with me for that reason. And then one day, um, oh, and, it, and I had a hard time getting to the freaking funnel hacking live. I missed planes and all this. And so I had to downgrade to one backpack for five days, a, a backpack. <laughs> and that was it. But I wanted to stuff. So I stuffed my flag in there. And so I had to carry it with me everywhere I went. And so, then we get into, I didn't know this was going to happen. And we get into the main ballroom for the uh, Funnel Hacking Live event. And I was like, man, I should take a picture with all the people that are my speakers. Yep. And so then I started going around the room and trying to, you know, find my speakers. And I was like, you know what? I should get a, a picture with the flag with every military vet that is at Funnel Hacking Live. And so, man, it just became this big deal. There were more of them than we thought. Oh, way more. And they would they were running up to me and like, hey man, I'm a vet. I'm a vet. And then yep. it even it went crazy from there. All these civilians started coming. They're like, I love America. <laughs> I love America. Can I get a picture with you, the flag? I was like, Roger that, let's do it. And so anyway, I walked away with, you know, dozens and dozens of pictures of with uh with people with the uh, military flag. So um and again, so that's branding, right? That's branding. And so now people are like, you're that guy with the flag. And so for mm. you veterans, as you're thinking about starting an online business, you know, number one, you, you know, consider a cause. It doesn't have to be, you know, military. It could be some other cause. Um, but if you can, if you're interested in making online courses, attach it to a cause, right? And people mm. are going to be more passionate about that. And again, speaking to the, uh, connecting with these speakers, I started with, you know, one at a time. And I kind of moved up the rank, you know, of people who are high speed, high speed, like really, really well known. And that's yep. how I was able to attract all these people. I'm like, 
I started with one person and I said, and I went to the next person and said, well, this guy's doing it. Will you do it? Then I, well, this person's doing it. Will you do it? And yeah. eventually it just blew up. And um, again, these, these, these people, and some of these uh, speakers are veterans. Those guys were like, yeah, Roger, I'll do it right away. Cause you know, we had that brotherhood and yeah. they're like, yeah, I'll do it for sure. But um, eventually it's just, everybody was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever, whatever you need to do. As long as we're helping veterans, let's do it. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Love it. Love it. You know, I mean, yeah, it's a bummer to say that, you know, our government's not doing the job taking care of the vets. Yeah. And so, Hey, if we got to step up and do it, we're doing it. Absolutely. Take it into our own hands. Here we are, you know, and that's why we're here. That's why we're here today. That's why we're, we're on your screen right now talking at you. Um, We are here to help. And not just me and Larry, we've got a whole team, whole team of people you're going to see over today and tomorrow and the next day. Um, it, it's pretty unbelievable. And they're, they're all here on this summit because they want to support and help you. They're yeah. not being paid. We're not no. paying them. We're not giving them some free gift or, you know, they're getting nothing. They're getting yeah. nothing out of this aside from the satisfaction of contributing their time and their knowledge to help and support you vets. Bro, so, and I'll tell you that some of these folks get paid thousands of dollars a freaking hour. Good point. Thousands good of point. dollars. Their, their time, some of these folks, their time is worth $1,000 an hour. You know, and these guys are like, if not oh, more, do whatever you want. Yeah, we're talking with people who are pulling in millions of dollars per year every year. Yeah. Right? So they don't need us. They don't need us to pay them for the sum. It's chump change, whatever we would even offer them, you know, like, and not only that, but yeah, it's opportunity cost. You know, whenever any of us decides to go and do a thing, we're missing out on what we could have otherwise been doing during that same time. That's opportunity cost, right? So, hey, if you're taking a nap, you could have been out making money. Roger that. Um, and, and for these, for these speakers, you know, th- some of them are, are selling their products, their programs, their coaching, whatever. And a lot of them are, are, are having tens of thousands of dollars in revenue come in every day. Yeah. And they're taking time away from that to be on the summit with us for which we're paying them nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, we don't got nothing, man. <laughs> so these people are truly here with us and with you because they want to help. That's it. It's because they want to help and they're here for you. That is the reason. And it's really powerful, man. Dude, it, it really is. And you know, Funnel Hacking Live was very emotional for me because yep. I met a kid named Chris Henry, right? And uh, he, he's a Marine and uh, he's been deployed numerous times and you met him, bro. Um, okay. He, he's struggling. He was struggling. The minute I met him, he was, he was struggling. Like I knew that his PTSD was struggling and whatnot. And he was there at click funnels and, uh, he, um, it kind of, you know, his, he, his essence changed. I saw I met him the first day and like within, a, within the end of the day, his whole like essence changed. And, uh, he was like super excited. And like, from there on, he's like, man, Peacock, I'll do it. You know, I'll do whatever you, whatever you want to do. I'll totally help you with this veteran summit. I've never been, had so much motivation, you know, and, like I'm trying to get this guy a service dog because he really truly needs one, right? Yeah. He's been asking me like, where can I get a service dog? You know, because he's like struggling with stuff. And so, yeah, huh. man, just my heart and my passion for veterans. It it just got me really emotional when I, when I was there, knowing that this is this could be really impactful for so many people. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that event uh, in Nashville for me too. It it even though it wasn't our summit, we yep. were just preparing for the summit, but. It, it, it for both of us and myself included allow me to see to actually see that this is impacting people yeah right you know because right now hey i'm just looking at a computer screen with a camera and your pretty Roger. face on my screen right Roger. but you know and it seems like it's just us and that kind of thing but that that allowed me to see like wow th- th- there's a lot of people out there real humans who really care and this is really impacting people so um you know this is uh this is just a really cool thing to be involved with absolutely the one thing that we were going to talk about was um and we've been doing this is the who, not the what, right? Mm. Oh yeah. Let's yeah. do that. Yeah. So this is a concept that Russell teaches us a lot. Yeah. So, um, again, you know, I've been with click phones for three years and, um, we have this phrase looking for the who, not the what. And I knew that this veteran summit was going to be a big deal. And I knew that like a lot of people would be excited about it, but, um, I'm not an expert funnel builder, right? Brett here, 
who's interviewing me is a um, certified a ClickFunnels certified partner. He is an expert at building funnels. Why did I reach out to him? Because he could do it better than me, <laughs> right? Why did I bring Charlie Walker on the summit? He's an expert chat bot extraordinaire. And yeah. I'm not. So I connected it out to him. So as you veterans are um, thinking about what you're going to do um, with the, with an online business, one of those key things is looking for the who, not the what. And that's, all, yeah. that's what this whole summit was about as far as connecting with people. Absolutely. Yeah. So when you, when you guys out there watching this, when you have ideas fl flying around in your head, don't get discouraged by thinking like, because because a lot of us entrepreneurs, we get the vision. We can see the vision. We can see what we want to create. We can see that the potential end result and, and, and it impacting and helping people and things like this. But just because you can see the vision doesn't mean you know how to execute it. Yeah. You might not know how, how to execute it whatsoever, right? So if you've got ideas in your head and you, maybe right now you don't have any ideas, this is morning one of day one. Like as you go through the three days of the summit, I guarantee you're going to have some ideas going through your head, but do not get discouraged if you have an idea that you can visualize, but then you say, oh, but how do I actually do it? I don't know how to do it. You know, don't worry about that. That's where it comes in. It's the who, not the what it's, you got to know who can do it for you and with you instead of knowing what to do as in. So for Larry, he had this idea and this vision for the summit, but he didn't know how to pull off a summit. Yeah. A never summit. done one. <laughs> never done one before. No. Nope. Didn't know how to, you know, how do you actually conduct the interviews and record them and upload them to a website and make them go on at a certain time and email lists and blah, 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 blah. And people getting registered, all these things that are involved with it. Like, so he had the vision. He knew what a summit was. He knew why it would be good, why it would help people, how it would impact people, all these things. The vision was clear, but he didn't know how to do it. Now, Larry had a couple of choices at that time, didn't you, pal? You could have taken the time to go ahead and learn it. Yeah. And learn it, learn the what, like the what to do, right? Or the how. Like he could have taken the time to study and learn and buy a course on this and buy a course on that and get coaching from this person and probably spend a bunch of money in the process. And, yeah. and, and but the more important thing, it would have taken a lot of time. It would yeah. have taken a very long time. The, the, the Veterans Online Summit would not be happening this weekend. It'd be happening like six months from now because <laughs> Larry would still be trying to figure out how to do it. Right. <laughs> But instead of doing that, instead of saying like, hey, I got to do this summit and I have to do it, me, me, I got to do it. So I got to figure it out and learn it and do it and figure it out and do it and figure it out and do it. Instead of that, he started reaching out. He said, who can help me with this? Yeah. Who knows how to do what I don't know how to do? Yeah. I was one of those people. So this whole thing came together because Larry had the foresight to know that he needed to focus on the who instead of the what. Roger. And that is why this event is happening today. Huge. Huge. Yeah. And, you know, super, ah, uh, there's like, I'm going to be writing like a, the longest thank you letter ever, but you know, just them, them, again, these rock star people who are difficult to get a hold of. Yeah. Um, you know, somehow I was able to reach out to them. I mean, I worked hard at it, but there was yeah, yeah. somehow I was able to get out to them when I finally did every single time they came back and they're just like, what can I do for you? You know, what can I do yeah. for your veterans? So yeah, freaking, you know, it was freaking amazing. Yeah. It's pretty unbelievable. Pretty unbelievable. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah one, you know, a common saying with an entrepreneurship is that if you're the entrepreneur and you're the business owner and you're the smartest person in the room, you're in trouble. Yeah. You know, but people think they need to be the smartest person in the room. If they're going to be the business owner, if they're going to be the guy who creates this business and this thing, like they got to know everything. Uh, uh, yeah. The, 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 the smarter person knows that you don't need to be the smarter person in the room. You hire people smarter than you. Hey, yep. you're smarter than me at funnels. You're smarter than me at email marketing. You're yeah. smarter than me at video marketing. So I need you because you're smarter than me. You do, you do not have to be the smartest guy in the room to Absolutely. pull off anything. Yeah, let me, let me give you guys some gold nuggets for uh, you guys, uh, men and women that are watching. Um, real quick. So again, you're, you're thinking about an online business that you want to create. This is what I did for the dance world. I created a launch team, right? I, I created, I, I always, every ballroom that I, I opened multiple ballrooms and, you know, at multiple cities. Anytime I did that, I always had a team that I invested my time into. Right. They would never pay for dance lessons, right? 
they never pay for uh, social dances. The only time that I ever had them pay for anything was if I had a live band because it would cost a lot, right? Yeah. So anyway, if you're thinking of some, whatever business you are thinking about, right? Begin to think about it, Roger. <laughs> keep, keep, you know, start thinking about it as you're going through this uh, weekend. But also start considering what team do you want to invest in? Or, you know, who lives? And I would, I would say 10 people, 10 to 12 people. Think of 10 to 12 people that you could bring on a journey with you and, and uh, walk them through this, right? And so just, I just want to give you guys that kind of piece of advice there. Um, and then, oh, Brett, let's talk about some expectations too for this summit. Yeah. 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 Let's do that. Let, let's, let's, let's wrap it up with, with, uh, you know, what's going to go be going on here for the next three days. Yeah. So we got um, tons of speakers, right? And so for, for the veterans that are watching, definitely, you know, bring a pen and paper, prepare to copy, right? Uh, these guys are going to, you know, the men and women that we have, again, obviously they're experts at what they do. Um, but there's going to be different online business models. That's the intent. There's, we, yep. we were selective about who we brought on to the summit. And the idea was to bring different people with different business models. A that wide variety. A of it, right? You could get yep. a taste of how, how do you make money online? Well, there's this way, there's this way, and there's that way. So yep. listen to all of the sessions. Absolutely. Listen to all the sessions. You have 72 hours to listen to all the sessions. And then what we do is we have this lifetime all access pass that you guys can upgrade to. Um, you can upgrade lifetime all access pass at 97 bucks and you'll be able to get all the videos, you know, for the rest of the, you know, uh, and you can go back and read Forever. those videos. And we're yeah. also going to have uh, workbooks and uh, transcripts of, of each of the uh, videos, but we're going to have workbooks that are going to be created l later on. They'll be available for you. Um, and we're going to have like, action points for each of the online business models, actionable objectives that you can take to start your online business career. And then obviously, um, and we have a Facebook group as well, Funnel Vets. If you just look up Funnel Vets, F-U-N-N-E-L-V-E-T-S, Funnel Vets. You look at that Facebook group, just add on to that Facebook group and um, we'll be you know, walking with you each step of the way and getting you on board. But I just wanted to you know, make you aware of kind of how the weekend's going to grow, how the weekend's going to go. Each um, speaker is roughly 20 to 30 minutes long as far as the interview. You know, I want to make it short and brief, 20 to 30 minutes long because there's a lot of speakers to get through. But um, yeah. I told them, you know, just make it, you know, bring as much value as you can, bring as much value as you can. And uh, the opportunity to connect with them is there. So it's, and definitely, absolutely ask questions, ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. And reach out to us as well. Uh, any of the emails that we send to you guys from Veterans Online Summit, you can just click reply, uh, whether, you, if, whether you have a question, a comment, a concern, whatever it might be. Um, we love to hear any and all feedback you guys have for us. And also in the Funnel Vets Facebook group, that's a great place to ask questions and, and give feedback. Um, if there's things that you wish we had in, on the summit that we don't, yeah. Let us know and we can include it next time because this won't be the last time ever that this summit comes around because yep. we're going to be helping vets go on and on and on. We're not, this isn't just a flash in the pan. Yeah. We're this is volume this. one, volume one right here. Yeah. 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 Um, and, uh, and just, I'm just going to kind of recap a little bit what you said, Larry, for, for, for all the men and women watching this, uh, for the next, you know, couple, two, three days here that our, our idea, our intent was to, uh, expose you to as many different, models of, of, of making money online as we could. So you can get an idea of the, the wide variety of things. Cause to a lot of people out there, honestly, making money online is, is kind of a mystery, you yeah. know? And, and a lot of people like people understand, like if you're selling something on Amazon, you're making, you know, but, but like other things aside from that, like it, it's kind of mysterious, you know, it, even when you see people advertising it or talking about it, a lot of the people who are talking about it are doing it in a mysterious way. Like they're talking about making all this money, but they're not really saying like how they're doing it or what they're selling or what it actually is, but somehow they're filming this video inside their mansion. Right. <laughs> and so so it's very mysterious to a lot of people who don't, who aren't familiar. So we wanted to expose everybody to there's endless different ways to make yeah. money online. Yeah. It's just, it's endless. And so it's not just one weird thing that everybody's doing. Um, and it's actually not weird at all. It's, it's, it's business, just insert the internet. And um, so yeah. we wanted to expose you to as much as we could with the hopes that 
you see something or hopefully more than one something where you're like, ah, that's re either really interesting to me, that's a skill that I would like to learn, or maybe based on your background, maybe you already have a, a particular skill or maybe part of a skill. Like maybe you see something presented on the summit that then you're like, wow, I, you know, I've kind of done something similar to that in the past. And so that would be easy for me to step into and, and learn more about it. And so we want you guys and girls to see something that is appealing to you that you say, hey, I want to pursue that more. I want to learn more about that mm -hmm. and see if I can turn it into something real here. And then we're going to create, Larry and I are working hard to continue beyond the summit yeah. to create pathways for those of you who are really interested and excited about stuff that we're presenting to be able to move forward for people who want Absolutely. to take action and take the next steps and actually start doing and implementing. And cause we don't want to just teach you stuff. We want people to actually end up creating a business and creating a living for themselves. So Absolutely. we're gonna be putting things in place for people to continue moving forward. So while you're watching the presenters on this summit, be noting like what, what this is appealing to me, this is not appealing to me, this is something I think I'd be good at, that's something I think I'd be terrible at, this is something I think I could easily learn, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. And then we're gonna provide you the pathways when you guys say to us, hey, I wanna learn more about this or I wanna learn more about that, I think I could be good at this. We're going to provide you the pathways and the support to, to continue to pursue that and bring it to actual fruition in reality. Yeah. And the expectation, you know, uh, as long my promise, you know, our promise to you is that as long as you put the work in, it, it takes work, Roger, it takes work. You but put if the you work, work in, it works, it works, Roger. And, uh, the expectation is you will be making money less than 30 days. I, you can make way quicker than that. But in less than 30 days, you will be making money, Roger. So I, th that expectation is there, but you have to put in the work, right? Mm -hmm. You have to put in the work. And I'm just going to tell you right now, uh, you veterans, you've been, and I'm, I know we need to wrap this up, but yeah. veterans, you, you, you guys have lived, a, lived your life, right? And you've done a lot of freaking hard things, right? You've done a lot of hard things. So I know that you guys have the mentality, the mindset, right? You not only, you know, taught, people will talk a lot about having belief, right? They need to have belief in something. Well, hey, man, I've doubted myself a million times, right? I've doubted myself a million times. I've wanted to quit a million times. Freaking ROTC, seven years trying to become an officer, right? When I could have become an officer in eight weeks' time, right? I could have been done the accelerated course and become an officer in eight weeks, and it took me seven years. I wanted to quit a million times. But the one thing that kept me going – freaking resiliency brothers and sisters resiliency and i'll tell you what more than belief you need resiliency to even make it in this entrepreneurial world because what are you going to do when you create a webinar right of the product you're selling that you worked so hard at right for a long time you, you put all this effort in you've been invested money into it and you think you know and you get all these people and you, you say maybe a thousand people show up and then you get no sales what are you going to do are you going to quit on us are you going to quit fold? on yourself Roger, because I guarantee you all of us have that story where we worked so hard on something for this in this online world and it didn't work out, but yep. we're not giving up. Right. And that's resiliency. So I just yep. want to make sure that you guys are aware of that. And I know you all know what that is. Yep. Very important. Just well, to add a little tidbit to that is you, every, every successful entrepreneur, business owner, even just like self-employed person, whatever, they've all had multiple failures before the one that worked. Whether they're willing to tell you that or not, it, it's true. It's, yeah. it's there, right? So don't be afraid of having six failures before the one that hits, right? And that might sound terrible, but don't be afraid of that because the only way that you fail is if you quit. That's the only way you fail is if you quit. Cool. If you just keep going, you will get it. You will get there. And so the only way to fail is to quit. If you have a, a failed product, a failed business, that doesn't mean you failed. That just means that one thing failed. Yeah. You know, if four funnels fail and do nothing, that doesn't mean you failed. That just means your first four funnels failed. And now the fifth one might be the jackpot. Yeah. The only way you fail is if you quit. That, that's Simple true. As that. That's true, man. Yeah. I, I'm telling, again, uh, I'm going to be holding you accountable, right? I'm going to hold your feet to the fire. I'm going to ensure that I'm going to do my part and Brett's going to do his part to keep you guys going and, to, you know, and to keep you in it for, for real. And let us know again, always ask questions. And, and if we don't answer, ask them again, continually, you know, be yep. persistent, be consistent. Yep. Absolutely. 
All right, Larry. Um, cool. Great conversation. I think we should probably uh, yeah. start, wrap it up for the sake of time here cool. and, and get moving on to the, the rest of the interviews. Yeah. And, um, hope everybody's excited. We're super excited. Hope you can tell if you can't tell. I mean, uh, <laughs> we're pretty ah, excited yeah. about this. <laughs> I'm a little high um, energy, so I'm going to bring A lot it. of work to bring this together, and um, we really just hope you guys get a lot of value out of it. So that'd be one of the biggest things for Larry and I, if for, for your feedback. We want to know, was this summit helpful? Was it valuable? Was it worth your time to sign up and watch and listen and take notes? We want to know. We really seriously want to know. So please reach out and give us the feedback. Absolutely. If it, if it wasn't, you know, give us a solution. <laughs> Don't just tell us that it was yeah. bad, but if you know, there's something we ideas. should do. Yep. If there's something we should be doing different or better, let us know. We'll do it. That's another great thing about internet marketing and in online products and courses, you can change them. They're not set in stone. You know, we didn't, you know, it, so we can take the feedback and, and, the, and the program can evolve and change. So please uh, give us all the feedback you have. Absolutely. And, and most importantly, we, we hope you have a really good time over the next few days and, and, and enjoy the content and just and get, get some, some insights and, and just spark ideas. If all this summit does for you is spark ideas in your brain, then we've won. Absolutely. Absolutely. Heck yeah. All right, Larry. All right. All right, guys. Well, I, I'm, again, I'm super excited to, to be here and to finally you know, get this Veterans Online Summit kicked off. So to all my fellow veterans, I'll see you on the high ground. Who?